Hi there. I'm trying to do a quick video uh, just to show you some beam comparisons to a couple of flashlights. And the main purpose here, sorry for the darkness for the moment, uh, the main purpose here is to show you the differences between one of the popular uh, zooming head flashlights. And in this particular case, I'm talking about a refund flashlight. This is the refund A100. And uh, let me see if I can get it in the camera. I have to be on, uh, on night vision here on the camera in order for it to be able to uh, see, uh, to actually demonstrate what I'm doing. Otherwise, the camera isn't picking, isn't picking um, some of the light up very well, even on manual setting. But uh, we have here a, a, an A100 flashlight. And in this particular case, it doesn't matter whether it's made by Refun or Outlight or uh, a couple of other brands, uh, the fact of it being A100, they are all going to be the same. And I'm sorry if this is being a little difficult right now to even see the light that I'm showing, um, or to see the light that I'm demonstrating with, but um, Refund A100 is what it is, and uh, so I'm trying to keep this as steady as possible. It's about a, you know, about a six inch flashlight here, and it has a, a freshly charged 18650 battery in it, and it has the zooming head on it, uh, which uh, the, the head zooms forward and goes backward and uh, creates the spotlight beam that so many people uh, like a lot. Um, and they particularly like it when the beam is fully zoomed in so that it's the smallest beam possible, saying that it will get, it will um, illuminate the furthest possible distance away from where they are. So I'm, I'm uh, showing a couple of um, other types of lights to demonstrate that uh, the A100 is not quite as good as the other lights that I'm demonstrating with and uh, they are standard everyday lights uh, by a, a couple of big name manufacturers and they do not have zooming heads they are fixed head flashlights so let's get right to the demonstration and I'll try to um, be as clear as I can along the way so right now I have right now I'm going to turn on the refund and it is at its highest mode and it is zoomed all the way it is zoomed all the way forward now I think you can see the beam I'm shining it on a tree down the street and I don't know the distance that I am away from the tree a good couple good couple hundred feet at least from the tree and I think perhaps you might be able to see the beam that I'm shining on right now um, at least the beam that the uh, light is producing and again this is on its highest mode in high mode and again the beam is is um, is zoomed all the way out or zoomed all the way in I guess you could say so there is the beam shining on a tree and I can see that the camera is seeing that okay so this is the a100 all right let me turn this one off now or actually I want to quickly show you what I'm going to compare it with here if I can um, I have in my hand a Nightcore MH20 flashlight and uh, this isn't working out all too well. Oh, okay, there we go. This is a Nightcore MH20 flashlight. It is half the size of the uh, of the A100, and it has an XPL LED, and it goes to about a thousand lumens. Okay, about a thousand lumens with an XPL LED. All right, so I'm going to shine that one now on the same tree that we saw the refund on a second ago. Okay, there is the beam on the same tree, and this is a Nightcore MH20. And uh, it illuminates far more of the tree than the uh, refund did, and there is no zoom head on this flashlight. It is a fixed beam. So there it is on the tree down the street. And once more, I'm going to shine the refund on the same tree again. So there's the refund beam, just in uh, comparison. Okay, now I have another flashlight here, and this one is going to be a Manker U11. Let me try to get it in the camera. This is a Manker U11. It's about a four-inch flashlight, 
about the same size as the night core I just had a moment ago and this too has a power of about a thousand lumens the um, refund the a100 I should mention claims that it's 900 lumens but it is in fact a lot less than 900 lumens this one the Manker u11 is about a thousand lumens and it uses an XML2 LED all right so let me turn that one on and again on its highest beam I will shine it at the tree okay wait a second while I get it up to par I thought it was already on high or I thought it was already on the highest mode okay two, two more seconds there we go all right I am now pointing it at the same tree and it it pretty much illuminates the entire tree it, it illuminates more of the tree than the night core did the night core is uh, is more of a compacted beam oops I'm sorry I have uh, somebody down the street here so I just had to move the camera briefly if you'll pardon me for a half a second I'm gonna get back to the uh, okay all right we are okay now I'm going to get back to the uh, manker here in just a couple of seconds, so bear with me. Sorry, I had to uh, shift things there momentarily. Okay, we are back to the manker now, and we are back on the tree. And there is the tree with the manker. It's too bad I had to shift things around there for a few seconds. Now I've disrupted the uh, focus of the, fl uh, the the focus of the camera. Anyway, there we are on the tree with the manker, and it pretty much illuminates the entire tree, as opposed to just a small area of the tree. Okay, that's the manker, and we are now going to move to another flashlight. I have another. Actually, I have another manker here with me, and. Here it is right here. It's a smaller manker than the other one was. Uh, this one is the T01. It's light in color. There we go. It's the T01. And this is about 900 lumens. And this uses an XPL LED, which is one of the newest LEDs they have available. And you can see it's very small. It's only about, uh, it's only between three and four inches long. Okay, so this is the Manker T01. All right, so I'm going to turn it on, on the highest mode, and shine it at the tree. And there you can see that one as well. Manker T01 with an XPL LED. And this uses a uh, 14500 rechargeable battery, which is the exact same size as an alkaline AA. And that's what this flashlight uses. It can use a AA as well, but it won't be this bright. So anyway, there it is on the tree. That's the Manker T01. And once again, if I do a last minute comparison with the refund again, hold on okay remember there's the refund beam in its uh, full zoomed mode and there's the manker and of course if I pull back oh, I have somebody else down the street coming up here fortunately they're going in the other direction and if I pull back the uh, beam on the um, on the refund to where it's non zoomed it won't do a darn thing it won't light up anything at least not it'll only light up the immediate area and ahead of you it won't light up a distance at all so it doesn't even do any good to show that on the camera the only thing it's going to show it's when it's fully zoomed out or zoomed in you know um, as we've already shown so anyway those are the comparisons between the refund a100 and the other flashlights which use much newer LEDs such as an XPL and so forth and which are their true 
outputs of close to 900 lumens in a thousand as opposed to the refund which says it's 900 lumens but I believe in effect it's only about 300 lumens. So there are your comparisons with these different flashlights. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Lightsandgear.com is my website where you can take a look at flashlights, batteries and chargers and so forth. And uh, I got to use two hands or at least one hand to turn off the camera. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and the comparison. We will see you next time. Good night.